welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are going to get started with another show. Um, and I, as, as it was going live, I completely spaced on everything I was going to say. So I'm just going to say this. Um, so uh, I will be taking callers. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. The um, if you would like to join us live on YouTube, you can post your questions there. I have been having a little bit of technical difficulty with YouTube and StreamYard and all the things. So we're going to do the best we can to get the whole show in this evening. OK, um, so 845-277-9131 is the call-in number and uh, or you can post your question in the YouTube chat. I will never reach out to you. Please don't get scammed. I'm going to start with names. I The name I say could be your name, your loved one on the other side's name or someone, a pet, some place, something. And the first thing I'm hearing, oddly enough, is Albuquerque. So if uh, that means something to you, that's probably from your loved one on the other side. The next name I'm hearing is Joan. The next name I'm hearing is... Uh, Okay, Nathaniel, the next name, um, Letitia, Letitia or Letitia. And I'm just going to do a couple more names, Priscilla, Brian, Jerry, Jorgen, um, and Mary. Those are the names. And now I'm going to go into songs. And if you hear a song, it could be the answer to a question that you've had, or it could be um, a song your loved one love, you love, whatever it is, it could be that. So we're going to move forward next with the, um, the songs. Um, <laughs> so the first song I hear is... Um, it's that song, it says, I, I, I like a man with a slow hand, the kind, I don't really know all the words to this, in a heated rush, um, take his time. I don't know, I just, I, I want a man with a slow hand is what I'm hearing, that song. Okay, the next, um, the, uh, uh, boy, this, there's so many people on the other side speaking at the same time or sending songs and names at the same time. It's a little bit difficult to hear the difference or, or to get the, to get a, a title before the next person comes through. So then the next, the next song that I'm hearing is, um, that song, it says, the words of wisdom, let it be, so let it be. And then the next song is, um, that song, take me to church, take me to church and I worship like a dog, that song. The next song is, I'm a believer. The next song is, let's... Well, it, it started to say let's, and then the words, I you know, that song came in, I want to rock and roll all night and party every day. Okay, so if those are your songs or those are your people, they're with you always. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you'd like to call in, ask a question, connect to a loved one, please feel free to do so. If you wanna post a question in the chat, go right ahead. I'll be happy to answer that question for you. 631, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hi, my name is Suzanne. I'm calling from Florida. I would like to move to North Carolina because my son, I think, is going to live there, Raleigh. And I um, I got my landlord to say that I can get out September, beginning of September, end of August, instead of November when my lease is up so I can try to get a school job and an apartment. Do you see all that happening? And if so, when? Didn't you just call in yesterday and ask this? Um, maybe I did, but I, I was wondering if it was going to happen in my landlord. Okay. So here's the thing, um, that this question is so familiar and I swear to goodness, uh, this, I, I don't know, but I could swear, um, maybe it's a different person. I don't think so. I think your son is going to North Carolina or is in North Carolina to be a cop. And I answered this yesterday. So if that's you, please go watch yesterday's show again and see uh, what that says. I'm gonna go to the next caller, 850. 850, what's your name and where are you oh, calling from? Thank you girl for taking my call. It's Michelle from Florida. Hey, how can I help you? I love talking to you. Um, <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, I've been waiting three years to get my boat fixed oh because everyone goodness. else's boat before mine. But he's he's really nice. I mean, he only charges me very little rent. Um, he even lowered it for me since I'm in the separation, and so he's very kind. But I'm like, what is the holdup? Why did we put everybody else before getting our boat fixed? It's like, you know, it's like. What's going on with there? You know, I don't understand why he's putting off to getting my boat fixed. You know, he's he's a one man van, so everybody in this whole town, two hours away, is the closest to get help. And so he's very busy, I know. And I think he puts all the fishermen before me, you know, because I'm here all the time. But he just put me off for like a little bit too long. Okay, so sometimes the one thing I'm getting is sometimes they forget, and it might have something to do with parts. But I, I don't feel like it has something to do with parts. I, if you, if you want to ask, if I'm, if I'm asking when the boat is going to be fixed and ready to go, I'm, I'm getting. Uh, that's what it might not be completely done until August. Now, one of the things that I'm getting is he does prioritize, like you said, if the fishermen and their their whatever they need. But I feel like if you if you say something like I really need this for whatever reason, I feel like he will be a little bit more attentive to it but for whatever reason and then i hear parts i feel like it might not come in until it might not be completely done until august there may be more than one thing or more than one part and it he, they may not be able to get it until august okay love okay I'm sorry. Thank you so I wish much, it, I wish I had better news, but that's what they're saying right now. Okay, love. Thank you. Hey, it gives me something to look forward to. Absolutely. You have an amazing rest of the weekend. Okay. You have a blessed one. Thank you so much. Okay. Hey, Karmic Karen. Karmic Karen wants to know. Oopsie, that's not what I meant to do. She wants to know, will my son keep his job? Big shake up there. Okay, Karen, will Karen's son keep his job? Before it's gone this month. Okay, I feel like Karen, he should start looking right away. He should start uh, seeing what else is out there. I feel like um, they are going to bring in a lot of new people or downsize everything um and it's always good just to have you know backups just in case you want to you know uh just in case something happens so i do feel like 
it's really important that he starts looking, seeing what's out there, and even applying to other places. I feel like he, when, whatever this shakeup is, whatever they're doing, I feel like it, it's going to, things are going to unravel faster than you know. And that's what I'm getting for that. I hope, I hope that's helpful. Um, the short answer is make sure he's being proactive and finding something or someplace else that he can work. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is uh, 845-277-9131, or you can post your question in the YouTube chat. Let's go to 850, if I can. I'm having so much trouble pushing buttons. 850, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, you just talked to me. Oh, I'm so um, sorry, sweetie. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to go to, uh, see, <laughs> I, I'm all over the place tonight. We're going to go to the next caller. And what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Okay, that was interesting so if if i am if i'm being honest so far tonight's show very very interesting very interesting so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna channel a little bit i'm going to get some new energy in here um you guys what do you want me to channel about well, I guess spirit's going to decide. Okay. Okay, here we go. One of the things that's very important for everybody to understand right now here in this time on this plane is that there is so much for you. There is so much for you to do, so much for you to have, so much for you to grasp onto. Never believe that you are impoverished or there is not enough. Then you are only seeing what those who want to be in power or in control are showing you. If you look in another direction, if you look in the direction of yourself and your destiny and your power and your control and what you are open and able to do, you will see endless opportunities, endless potential, endless abilities. When you are not paying attention to what the naysayers or those who want to hold those down would say, then you are open to spending your attention on you and all the different directions that you could go. When you are opening your mind and your abilities to new, you will find it is endless opportunities for you. There is so much on this dimension or this plane for you. And we are here to help you as soon as you make up a choice of what direction you want to go in and stick with that choice. We come in and we start making it accessible and creating what you need for that choice. We will point you in the directions. We will guide you. We will show you into the direction that you need to go in and to help you with resources so that you can live in the way you want to live in. There is no such thing as impoverishment unless someplace in your mind this program has been established. This is not something that was established before you came in, nor is it a part of anybody's destiny. Impoverishment, whether it be impoverishment in love, finances, life, health, um, energy, 
resources. Impoverishment is what is programmed in by those who want to stay in control. That is an erroneous program. Those who have already gone back home can see the dynamics that the programmers have put up on you and are trying diligently along with us to break you out of the old programming and bring you into new programming of self-sufficiency, new beginnings, openings, and prosperity in health, in happiness, in joy, and yes, in finances, in business, in doing your own endeavors and having you to create and uh, co-create and recreate in the life that you want, in the way that you want, and on the terms that you want. Many of you are so unhappy in your work and in the job that you are doing. Maybe you like the specifics of the job, but not the people or the company or the boss, or you don't even like the job, but you're showing up, but you're not using your mind to do what your heart is showing you you love. If there is something you love, we want you to use your mind to create that platform, that setting, that life for yourself. We want you to be out there starting that so that you can create unlimited opportunities for yourself in an area and with something that you absolutely love. Don't have fear. Fear not of what will happen if you take the chance. Be more afraid of never taking the chance and living in regret and unhappiness for the rest of your days. And it does not matter what your age is. It only matters what is in your heart and that you use your mind to bring it into fruition, into this plane, into this area for you. So many of you are on autoplay, go to bed, get up, go to the job you don't like, go home, deal with a relationship that makes you mediocre, you're, you're not sure, and then go to bed again. It's time to shake it up. It's time to live a new existence. It's time to bring joy back in. The one thing you can control, the only thing you can control is you. The only thing that you can change, control, and the way that you can live the best is by controlling you and doing what you want. And no, this does not mean quit your relationship and quit your job and, and quit doing this. It means while you are doing this work, this job, and you have this stability, start what it is that you are passionate about. Start what it is that you love. Start what it is that you want. So many say, I don't have time. I don't have energy. The reason you don't have the energy is because the things you are doing now is depleting your energy because you're not loving them. You're not in that space with them, with wanting what you're doing or the people that are around you. You would say the term, it's sucking the life out of me. But when you start to do what you want, it gives you energy. It gives you life. It brings vitality into you. It gives you the options and you feel your power come back to you. Your power center, your source starts to fill again and be vibrant again. And then you start to love your relationships. And then you start to love again, not only what you're doing, but those in your life. We ask you at this time to take the time and 
you don't have to do it all in one day. You can start with one step and do one thing. You don't have to start with a big company or a big building. Just one thing. You don't have to open a whole furniture manufacturing company. Just make a piece of furniture if that's what you love and then sell that. And then make another piece and then another piece and then another piece. If you love food, you don't have to open a whole restaurant. You don't have to get a big glamorous food truck. And make the food and start to sell it to people. And then as it gets bigger, the money will come and you'll be able to start however you want to do that. Whether it be uh, a, a set place or a truck or whatever it is. If you love uh, face and body, start one at a time. Do videos, do one person at a time. You don't have to think about how it should look at its best. Think about how you start one at a time. And then from there you go. And before you know it, you will be in a space where you are taking off. If you want to be in what you call the spiritual realm of doing uh, readings or healings, so many of you have healing abilities that have not even been heard of on this plane yet. And if you just start playing with it, sitting and asking the question, how do I do this? It will start to open up inside of you. And then you just follow that opening and play with it. Just play with it and then start to work on it. And then when the will and the want is there, the people who are you can help will show up. But you have to take those first steps. You have to be in that space of those very first steps. You have to allow yourself to dream again. You have to allow yourself to open up again. You have to allow yourself to believe again. Okay, there we go. Now let's see how everything is going. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go back. To, I hope that was helpful. I hope everybody um, was uh, enjoyed that. I think that was very good. I'm going to try to take a caller again. We'll see what happens. 201, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Jackie. I'm calling from New Jersey. Hey, Jackie. How can I help you today? Oh, oh. wow. What you were just saying was resonating with me so much. I love that. Uh, Thank and, you. Oh, I want to be able to just follow it like with like step by step because that's just what I'm feeling with work and with everything. And I, I just want to know if there's any guidance from the other side. I'm trying to move forward with some things regarding my parents' home and I want to move in a couple of months. The finances have been very tight. I just want to see what you're picking up. Okay, so if I'm hearing this correctly, um, and I want to make sure I'm understanding what it is you're wanting, there's something with your parents. I just want to see if there's any message or guidance with, with what I'm trying to do, because everything that you just said, it was as if you were talking to me and no one else. Okay, so the one thing I would say for you, and if we are being exact, we are going to tell you, stop thinking about things and start doing things. There is not a wrong time unless you wait until it's too late and you cannot do it any longer. The only time that things do not, that you cannot do them is when you've waited too long. So we are going to tell you right now that it is time for you to make the moves you would like to move, make and to move forward in doing what it is that you want to do. If it is to take action on the parent's house and then to uh, start uh, your own thing, 
it is time to do that. When you have the idea for the thing is the time to do the thing. The ideas don't come at the wrong time. You don't have to do gung-ho the whole thing, but do one thing at a time at least and start moving into it. Allow yourself to have the faith and the freedom to take the steps to get you where you want to be with it. I, I hope that makes sense. And I'm so sorry, but there was so much static in the background. I had to mute you and I hope you understand that. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 845 um, so please, uh, you can call in and ask a question. I'm going to go back to the questions in the chat and see if I can find one I have not answered yet. Um, Tanya says, any message would be appreciated. Tanya, do you have someone on the other side you would like a message from or a certain area <clears throat> of your life you would like the message in? Um, Okay, Tanya, uh, the first thing that I can say to you, Tanya, is you're going to have a lot of changes coming in over the next six months. These changes, it's almost like at the end of six months and when we go into the new year, your life is going to look completely different than it does right now. You're going to look back and you're going, for, forget, don't tell me what area, don't tell me anything, Tanya, because this is the message for you. Um, when in six months, given the fact that you take steps and you make moves in six months, when you look back, you're not even going to recognize yourself. You're not going to believe so much has changed in six months. That's so much of you made so many changes and took so many strides and did so many things. And I feel like Tanya now, when we think, when I say this and people think about this, they may think about this from the perspective of this is, um, for example, oh, am I going to change my job or my career or this or that? It could be internal changes. It could be changes that are healings coming in that help you to healings coming in that help you to think, behave, and act in a completely different way. And Tanya, if I'm being honest, I feel like that's where it all begins. Something comes in that like either spiritually comes in and heals something inside of you where you just start making moves and changes and that's it. And in six months, you won't even want to look back because you're going to be so good with where you're going. So Tanya, if that makes sense, please let me know. I really want to know if that makes sense to you. And you guys, I'm going to do a healing and or clearing that anything keeping us stuck, stagnant, anything in our way, let's clear it now. Let's take everything and pull it now. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next question. Um, here we go. Hey, Tony, it's been two years, but I finally have my coaching business launch. Congratulations. I love that for you. Let's do a clearing of anything stopping or blocking your business or any other business from, from having clients and sales and programs. Let's clear that now. Oh, there's a lot in the throat going tonight. Let's get our voices back. I get a yes on that. We're going to clear, heal, release anything stopping or blocking us from having our voice and oh, our creativity. Let's pull, heal, clear, release anything stopping or blocking our creativity. Because when we're doing businesses and when we're doing these things, we need this creativity to 
to to to help us put everything together. Oh, congratulations again. I really hope that was helpful. I hope that you uh, you are going to have very much success with that. I love that for you. Um, uh, Rebecca wants to know, does my angel have a message for me? What should I do next? Uh, Rebecca, I hear, you know what I hear is just keep moving. Um, just keep like moving forward. Keep going. Don't slow down. Don't stop. Rebecca, one of the things for you is you're always almost... Um, and this isn't a bad thing, and I think we all do this, but it's almost like you're waiting for permission or you're waiting for somebody to tell you, and it's already there, and you just have to do it. You have to take that. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. You have to take that step, and you have to uh, just go with it, have that, like, Faith, if you will, is what I'm hearing. I want to tell you also, Rebecca, your your grandmother says, um, if you had a daughter your age, what would you tell your daughter to do in your shoes? And that's exactly what you should be doing, Rebecca. I hope that was really, really helpful for you. Um, MK... Karen, let's see what you have to say here. Um, I'm sure my question won't be answered because the last few times my question is overlooked. I'm so sorry for that. I do an hour show so I get to as many as I can in that time. And it's not that I'm overlooking or ignoring. And the call log is very empty tonight. So I'm able to spend more time on the chat. Uh, so I apologize uh, for that. Um, for some reason, but if you can answer it, will we be able to buy a house soon? Will Karen be able to buy a house soon? Yes, how soon? I'm getting Karen right around the four month mark. And that could be a little sooner, a little later. You know, they don't have time up there, but what I'm getting right now is right around that four month mark. Right around that four month mark. I feel like August is going to be interesting for you. But after that, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing, meaning and interesting, meaning just there might be a few ups and downs, like a couple little things. But then after that, everything should be smooth sailing and Karen right around that four month mark. Is that when they're going to three months? You're going to right around that three month mark is when you're going to find the place. And then right around that four month mark, everything should be falling right into place for you. And it should be pretty. It's good. You know, it's going to be what you want, where you want it, but not quite when you want it. So, of course, you want it now, but you know, it's going to be what they consider perfect timing, but maybe not you. I hope that was helpful, um, Karen. Um, uh, remember, if you have a question and you're in the call log, push the one. So I know you have a question because that actually raises your hand in the, um, in the, in the, uh, in the call log. So Mysterio wants to know um, anything to look out for my love life. I am single right now. Thank you, Mysterio. Mysterio, you know, the, the first thing they do is they kind of laugh a little bit. And do you want to be single? Is that a choice that you're making unconsciously? Um, like, Sometimes somebody can come in and, and they could be a good person, but we start to find like, oh, but they, you know, but they eat salad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making something up, Mysterio. Um, what I'm getting for you is you, you have the potential. I always say potential now because people have to actually go out and, and interact with other people. 
But if I'm saying it the way Spirit's saying it, you're going to meet somebody in about a month to a month and a half. That's about six weeks. And you are going to have um, the chance to progress with this person to take this relationship further. I feel like huh, I see this person with like a yoga mat or a workout mat and in workout clothes. Um, and the joke I made about, oh, but they eat salad. You might have different ideals about eating habits. Remember, we're never supposed to change people. We accept them for who they are. And then, you know, they accept us for who we are. The goal is not to find somebody and turn them into a mini me. It's to find somebody and, and enjoy each other for who they are. Uh, so, for example, if this person is a vegan, it doesn't mean you have to become a vegan or they have to eat meat. That's just one example. OK, you can stay you and they can stay them. Those aren't the important things that matter. Um, I do feel like there is the potential for this relationship to have some, some traction, to get up and go, to, uh, to take off, if you will. But um, yeah, and that's in about a month, between a month and a month and a half. I feel like it will be a very good, um, It'll be a good situation. I'm seeing this person so clearly. I'm seeing like, it's beautiful how clearly I can see this. Of course, I can't describe people. I wish I could describe people easily, but I can't. If I, I always make the joke, if I was ever robbed and I could even see the person's face, I would be like, well, they had two eyes and like a nose and then their cheeks were like here. I'm horrible at describing people. Oh my gosh, I'm so horrible at describing people. So Mysterio, I hope that really, really helps you. <clears throat> and in the chat log, if I have missed your question, please repost it and I will get to it. I'm going to go to the next caller. 480, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Anori, and I'm calling from Arizona. How can I help you, love? So, um, I, I've had a reading with you before, um, and I finally left my husband and um, started my life over. And so, just wondering, um, when it comes to love, is there anything you may do? Okay, love. Can I please ask your, I know you're in Arizona. Can I please ask your first name again? Ayori. Okay, thank you. You know, I'm going to tell you this, and, and I'll get to the love, but the thing that they're saying is they want you to, to be so focused, like they're playing that song, I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. They're playing that that verse of that song over and over, like on a loop for you. And they're saying they want you, and th then the song come that, that, the, that song, but I, I don't really, I've never heard the, this whole song, just this line of it. Something about when I get my money right, so um, basically, I think what they're trying to say, if I'm getting this correctly, they want you to be so focused on money and making money. And I feel like there's going to be a business opportunity coming in. And it's really important. To, there's nothing wrong with MLMs. If you're involved in a MLM, do not come at me. But for you, the business opportunity coming in is not an MLM. It's a, it's a different, it's a, like a business that is yours, that you're doing. Um, it's a business you, you are actually doing, like you started, you're doing it. And this is going to come in. And when it, when this opportunity, or when you think of this business, whatever it is, wh whatever this business is, when you think of it and you um, start doing it, 
you need to be so focused on that. And what they're saying is this, do you know, and for women, this is so true. This is so true for, for most of the women I know. If we're with a man and he wants to start a business or do something, we will take everything we have and we will put it into that pile and help them start and run and do that business. They want you to do that for you and to have that same motivation and power and strength like if you were doing this business for someone else now i do feel like and i am going to say this um i feel like in some way i don't is is it have you okay so, so let me ask you this have you thought of starting a business or have you wanted to do a business So I have started my business, uh, have not done much marketing just yet because there's a couple little things I want to make sure are good. But yes, I've started my business yes. at the beginning of June. Okay, I love that. Thank you. So it's, <laughs> so it's still a baby. It's an infant. Your business is still an infant. They're saying, so everything they're saying about, I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. And, you know, when I get my money, they want you to stay so in this business, make this business your boyfriend right now, because I'm going to tell you something. What they're telling me is if you bring in a man right now, it will one of one of two things or possibly two things will happen. Number one, this person that has the potential to come in, first of all, will not be the best person for you, for your business. Let's put it that way. They will A, need too much attention and B, try to, what is that word? It is where they will be mm, like trying to get in your business, but not like a nosy person, but like get in your business, like put my name or this is, let me help you with this and let me help you with that. And no, 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 thank you, sir. Not today. Mm -mm. And no, you go do your own thing. You're not, you're not piggybacking my thing. So what they're trying to do right now is really protect you and more importantly, your business and your assets of this business. And you have no idea where this business right now, you have an idea of where this business could go, but this business could be bigger than even your thinking if you give it the time and attention and you keep it yours and you keep everybody else's energy out of it. Okay. This is meant for you. And it's not meant for if you, I just, and I'm in the top of my head has like so much going on in it, on it, not in it, but on it. And what I, I what I really need to say to you is however I say this, the most important thing I can say to you right now is if you just dedicate yourself to this, not forever, but right now, you dedicate everything you have to this business as though it was your child's business or your partner's business, but keep it your business and don't have a partner right now. I'm sorry to say that. Don't do that. Just put everything into this business, have the faith and the confidence. This business will be bigger than you even, than you think it can be. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's going to, it has the potential to be very big. Okay. And you're the one, your drive, your energy, your everything of this is going to make it that way. And Nobody can come into your circle right now 
and try to uh, be part of it and claim, like, put their energy on it. That's the way to, that I'm going to say it. Nobody can come in and, like, put their energy on it. This has to be you from beginning to end. And you can't have people coming in and either being a naysayer or acting like it, they gave you the golden goose idea for it. it. It just has to be for right now, it has to be you and your business and you have to run that, okay? And, un, and not unfortunately, but for you, fortunately, this is the time for you to treat your business like your, again, like your baby, like your boyfriend and put everything into it. And even though that's not what you asked for, that's what they're telling you. And they're trying to protect you in telling, protect you and your business in telling you this. Okay, love? Okay. I know. I, I Go ahead. Guys. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I think that was definitely some clarification on um, someone trying to come in and help me, quote unquote, with my business. Yeah. And so, okay. So I don't, I think, here's what I think. Even if you try to bring somebody into your life right now, it's not. It's not going to go far because they're like putting a dome. I can't, I can't think of any other word for this, but they're, they're kind of like putting like a dome or a sphere over you to keep you and this business and, and, and whatever else is going on in your in your home protected um, so that you can be dedicated to getting this going. Now, once you get, so, okay. And here's what I want to say also. Okay. And this is this. Okay. Thank you. This is the way I'm, I'm going to say it in a completely different way for you. And I need you to, you know, tomorrow, Listen to this all over again. So the way they would say it is, A, the man you would be with now and the man you would be with after your business is successful are two completely different men, okay? And B, if you are with a partner right now, that partner, you'll be trying to carry that partner and your business at the same time because the partner you pick now won't be the best partner for you to grow your business with. So they want you to just not do that, to focus in on your business. And once your business is where you want it to be and it's doing really well, a man is going to come in that matches that. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Phew. Phew. And it's so true. I'm going to tell you this. This is so true. The person we are with at the beginning of either our business, our healing journey, our right out of a relationship, is so different than the person we would be with a year later when everything is established, we're back in our power and we are strong and we are taking off. We are going to pick a very, a man on our level every single time. So if you're just starting a business and just, you know, getting your grips back into the single life or just coming out of something, the person you're going to pick now is going to be so different than the person you're going to pick in a year from now. And if you take this next year and you put everything into this business, you're going to be so happy with it. And it's going to just, it's going to do so well. 
it's going to do amazing. So please, for if forget everything else and just listen to all the money you can make if you just focus in on this business, okay? Okay. And I do feel like, and I know I'm really batting this home. I'm really pushing this. I do feel like if you focus in on this business, you could be having um, legged, like legacy type of stuff going on. Okay, sweetie? Yes. Okay. Okay. I hope that was helpful, love. Thank you very much. It was it, it was very much so clarification on everything that I kind of knew and felt and I just really needed to hear that. Um, oh, thank God. Thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And please keep us posted on your journey, okay? I will. I need to reach out to you because I know we said we would work together one day. Excellent. I love that. I love that. Okay, sweetie, we will chat soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye for now. Okay, I'm going to go to the chat. I looked at the chat and I was like, oh my goodness, there's there's so many, there's so many more uh people here. I think there are. Okay, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Um Okay, here we go. Is my mother happy with me and how things are going on? For the most part, yes. Your mother's happy with you. Um, the one thing that I'm hearing is, but wishes you would have more um, faith in yourself, have more belief for yourself. Um, very proud, wanting you to be um, I hear the song shine, shine bright like a diamond, that song, like to sh just let yourself shine and not hold back anymore. Life is too short to hold back. Don't hold back anymore. Let yourself glow, um, like have a glow up. Let yourself be, um, as bright as you can, um, like to be, don't be, uh, it's not about, be, the modest isn't the right word, but I'm going to use the word, like, uh, don't be too, it's good to be modest, it's good to be humble, but to put every, like, if you have skills and abilities, show them off, show them off, it's time for that, okay, love? That is what I'm hearing, but very proud, very proud, very happy, okay, um, all righty, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to, I think 312, 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi there. Hi there, can you hear me? I can, I can. Good. What's, excellent, what's your name and where are you calling from? Can I talk from? to you please, I talk I talked to you before. My name is Marquis, and I'm calling from Chicago. Excellent. How can I help you today? Yeah. yeah. So you, I talked to you about a month ago, and you were telling me about a stream of upcoming interviews. So I'm sort of in that energy now, where it's two companies. One I really like. The other one is sort of a non-for-profit. They're both great money. I'm just wondering, are both offers coming forward, or... What, what's going on here? <laughs> One of them is going to make you an offer, but then there are two more. Okay, you have to now. There are two more coming in. So keep looking because, or keep, keep, keep applying. One of these is going to make you an offer. One of the two should be making you an offer, but I do feel like there are two more opportunities that will be arising and coming in. Pay attention, keep your eyes open, keep okay. keep your, like they're saying, um, don't drop the ball, keep your eye on the ball, allow yourself to keep looking, okay. and you're going to find something that's going to be, it, okay, I feel like it's, 
not as traditional because I well I've, I'm hearing non-traditional, not as traditional, but but you're really going to enjoy it. Okay, you're you're really going to enjoy it, and it's it might not be okay. what you like when you're looking what you would normally, the title you would normally look for or the type of business you would normally look for. It might not be that, but it's going to be even better. So be very open uh, to the areas of work you're looking at or the the titles or the just whatever that is or the companies, just be open to it and understand you might be pleasantly surprised and that's what they're saying for you love okay that's exciting thank you so very much you are so so welcome thank you so much for calling in i want to remind everybody i'm here every monday at noon and every wednesday at um 7 uh p.m so I answer questions on the call line, which is 845-277-9131. I, and then I answer questions on the YouTube chat. And then I also um, do private sessions outside of this. I don't think I answered this yet. I'm being encouraged by a supervisor to move to another school next year. However, she is doing this behind the boss's back. <laughs> Not sure what to do. Should I go if the offer comes through or stay here? Okay, here's what I'm going to say to you. I would really, whatever school it is, you're being encouraged to go check out what's going on in that school. Check out what the energy is like. Um, if you feel good about the school, go. Now, I ask it a little bit differently than you would. So where you say, you know, should I go? I ask, will you go? And I, even as I say, will you go? My head is going side to side, which is a no, you won't go. I feel like the, benef the benefit of going will not outweigh the benefit of staying where you are. I feel like you're going to choose to stay even if it's offered to you. I feel like you are very, very happy where you are, at least somewhat happy. You won't, it won't be a, here's the way we decide. Will it advance you if you go to the other school? No. Will you make more money? No. Will there be any great benefit that you're not receiving now? No. Will the students be better? No. I hear they might be even brattier. Um, will, you know, will it uh, give you more peace? No. So that's the way I ask the question sometimes when this comes in of should, should a person go? Should they stay? Um, those are the type of things that, that will justify why you would stay where you currently are. And I feel like you're going to make the choice all on your own, regardless of what I'm saying, to stay exactly where you are. Um, 90 and to seconds. Not, not, to, not to be caught up in the drama of what um, getting going behind one, one to the other. It, it, you're going to be happy if you stay where you are. That's the way I would say that to you, love. I hope that that makes sense to you. I hope that... Um, uh, she says, all the schools are quite toxic at this moment. Yes, they are. <laughs> I'm so happy I went to school when I did. Oh, my goodness. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining the show. Thank you for being. I'll be back Monday at uh, noon. Thank you, everybody.